Hallelujah. Say congratulations to somebody on your left and on your right. As you take your seat. Congratulations. Hallelujah. You may please be seated in God's presence. Welcome to the month of March. Welcome to our real boss season. Every year as a church, we come together in the month of March to position ourselves as kingdom citizens and give sacrificially towards the building project. And I believe very strongly that this year there will be amazing testimonies of God's faithfulness as we position ourselves. Amen. Okay, so we're going to continue um, from where we stop now. School of Money. We've been having an amazing time. And last week we had um, a break because of the CEO dinner and award night. And that was an awesome time last week, Sunday. Praise God. So let's continue from where we start. We've been looking at where money hides. And that's been our focus. Where money hides. And um, that's the model we're in right now. So we started with um, the first one, money hides in people. Number two, money hides in problems. Number three, money hides in gifts and talents. Number four, money hides in opportunities. Number five, money hides in products and services. And number six, money hides in ideas. I believe we are in number six, right? Or number seven? Number six, okay. Money hides in ideas. When we began, we're trying to establish the fact that a lot of people go around saying they are looking for money. And that phrase, oh, I'm looking for money, I'm looking for money, suggests that the money is hiding somewhere and they are trying to find it. And what we're trying to do in this model is to help you to understand that if you are looking for money, these are the places where money is hiding. And once you're able to unlock it, money will flow. So money hides in ideas. You have heard it said before that ideas rule the world. And I want you to know it's not a slogan. Because of the truth, money truly hides in ideas. There are many things that when you look at it, now you are able to see the beauty of it. But 10 years ago, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, it was an impossibility. So the impossibilities of yesterday are the possibilities of today. And the impossibilities of today are the possibilities of tomorrow. So what is an idea? When you look at the Bible, the Bible says, eyes has not seen, nor the ear heard, neither has he entered into the heart of man, what God has prepared for his people. So note those three things. Eyes have not seen. So eyes see, neither has the ear heard, ears hear, neither has he entered into the heart of man. So now, he said eyes we see, ears we hear, but when it got to the eye, he said it has not entered. That means it's coming from somewhere. So what are ideas? Ideas are the solution that your mind provides for the problems that your eyes see and your ears hear. That's why it's an idea. So, so that we can understand this thing. So when you see a problem, the very minute you see a problem, there will be a download. Ah, this is not good though. I wish it could be like this. That's an idea. The, the very minute your eyes see a problem, there is a download because there is no problem on earth that does not already have a solution in God. But the solution is yet to be known to man. But only those who open up to the frequency of God gets that download and become the authors and inventors. So, every time your eyes see, there will be a download. Every time your ear hears, there will be a download. Ideas are divine downloads. And everywhere you go, as we are in here right now, we know that there are different frequencies and different waves here. If you bring in a transistor radio now, you'll be hearing a different voice from my voice when you tune to a different radio station. 
But are you hearing them now? No, because you are tuned to my frequency. So it simply means that in the world that we live in right now, ideas are flowing. Nobody owns the monopoly of ideas. There are over 8 billion people on earth today. When you open up yourself to the frequency of that download, you will get it. So many times, when you think you are the only one receiving an idea, you are not the only one. Maybe 3 billion people are receiving it at the same time. But it is only those who do something with it that get the result. Hello? So money hides in idea. There was a time when there was no electricity, no television, no fridge, no aeroplane, no car. But somebody received an idea and decided to implement it. Just decades ago, there was no laptops, no iPad, no Facebook, no YouTube, no cable station, no Twitter, no X, no many things. The richest people in the world today are no more hunters, farmers, or industrialists, but they are ideas people. We've seen that evolution already. So smart work is replacing hard work. Brain power is replacing muscle power. So the solution to tomorrow's problem is in today's ideas. Now, have you ever had an idea and you did nothing about it? And a few weeks or few months later, you see it happening. And you're like, ah, that thing came to my mind though. Now, that's an idea. It came to your mind, but what did you do with it? Now, I don't know, but I know there are different age groups here. But you know, many, many decades ago, in the days of pen pal, where you want to write letter, ditto, ditto, to someone, you will go and buy paper and buy envelope. There's even one envelope they call airmail. The envelope, the inside is uh, like notebook. The outside, you now go... Uh, then you got it. But when you are posting that letter, you now buy stamp. You will now send it and you will now be waiting for answer. Sometimes it might take weeks. Sometimes it can take months. And then when the answer comes, you are very excited. You want to open it. Sometimes when you are posting the letter, you put perfume on top. You know now, you draw art, you draw everything, you draw cupid arrow. Now, in all honesty, what was coming to your mind then? Ah, I wish there is a way I can send this letter to her now. And she will receive it now. And she will reply me now. That was email. But guess what? What did you tell yourself? It's not possible. That's why you are still poor. Because somebody else got that same idea and did not believe that it is impossible. Because God will never bring into your mind what is not possible. Hello? It may not exist now. It may not be existing now. But if you are willing to do the work, it will become possible. It's only a matter of time. When the Wright brothers saw birds flying, they told themselves, why can't we fly? They said, forget it. Human beings don't fly. And there are many people. The Wright brothers are not the first set of people to try to build an airplane. They are not the first. People have tried it and said, it's not possible. But this guy said, it's possible. And they didn't succeed the first time, but they kept at it. Today, we have a place. So, when you say you are looking for money, most of the time, that money you say you are looking for was given to you three years ago in the idea that you abandoned, in the idea that you discarded. Now, listen. Nobody owns the monopoly of ideas. But it's only those that take it serious enough to act upon it that benefit from the idea. Let me go deeper. There are no ridiculous ideas. You know one of the reasons why we don't explore the ideas is that it's not possible. We just think it's ridiculous until somebody else does it. Because to that person, it's not ridiculous. A woman wrote a book years ago. Her name, she, uh, her name is Cindy Cashman. And she gave herself a pseudonym and wrote a book. 96 pages. Empty book. Blank as in nothing is inside. Just empty pages. 96 pages. You 
can Google it and get the details. And then she titled the book Everything That Men Know About Women. That's the title of the book. Hello? And you know what happened? They told her it's not possible when it's not a size book. How can you just be selling empty pages of books and you think people will buy? No publishing house believed in her, but she believed in herself and she invested in herself. And then she printed the book. And then women, we carry the book and say, say ah, everything that men know about women, do they know anything? Then they will now open it and say, ah, it's true, it's true. They don't know anything. The women started marketing it and gossiping about it in saloon. Say, have you seen that book that one lady wrote? All these men, they don't know anything. They think they know. They don't know nothing. That's how people started. The woman became a millionaire selling empty book. Hello? Somebody would have said it's not possible. Somebody would say, then when Donald Trump became the president, another guy said, ah, me too, I will do my own. So he wrote 240 pages, empty book. Why people should trust, love, and honor Donald Trump? No reason. 240 pages, blank. It will make millions. There is no ridiculous idea. Sometimes it's when you see it, you're like, ah, this scene is so simple now. I can't do this now. But when it came to your mind, you thought it was too ridiculous. Because one of the challenges we have is that God is simple, we are complex. So we believe that for something to produce, it has to be hard work, it has to be soft ahead. So when it looks too simple, you're like, ah, can something so simple? produce the kind of results we want. So if you are looking for money, money hides where? Money hides in ideas. Um, I have a master class that I do. It's called the Ideas Master Class. So let me just give you a few tips from there to help you. It's not, this one is not in the notes. Um, because many of you, one of the challenges you have is that you are falling in love with the idea. Hello? What do I mean by that? A lot of people have idea. They say, it's my idea. My idea. My idea. Nobody. I want to, want to share with anybody. And then two months later, somebody is doing what you call your idea. And you now realize, ah, you thought you were the only one that you know. Don't fall in love with the idea that you now keep the idea because not all ideas are forever. Sometimes you fall in love with the idea, you keep the idea, and the idea will expire in your hand. Because you think you have one novel idea. So, when it comes to taking ideas from the beginning to the end, there are 26 levels that you go through. But let me just give you like three or four, just to help you understand so that you can go and do further work on that. Number one is idea conception. And that's where many people end. You conceive an idea and you discard it. And that's why you never see result from it. But every time you conceive an idea... You must move to the next point, which is idea documentation. So you must write it down. Write the vision and make it plain. Whatever you have not written down, you don't believe. Whatever you have not written down, you are not serious about investigating and implementing. So when you have an idea, no matter how ridiculous the thought is, if I open my iPad now, I can show you different ministry idea, business idea, life idea. I have different folders. When something just I just quickly write it. And from time to time, I just, just say, ah, so I wrote this thing three years ago. Ah, we are going to walk in see you. You know, just document it. Just write it down. Hello? Write it down. And because of technology, because of the way the world is going to, one of the things you will need to do also to protect yourself, um, because I may not be able to get to, I just want to give you some, God, that one is not a free meeting. <laughs> now listen. When you document the idea, email it to yourself. Hello? Email it to yourself so that there will be a digital footprint that this idea came to you in 2001. Because in 2027, somebody else may receive the same idea and implement it in 2027. And in 2029, you may implement the same idea and the person will sue you that you copied them 
You can ask, I didn't copy you. I had the idea in 2021. This is my email. Hello? Are you going to say now? I don't know. We are going to deeper them. Let's leave it. So since you, you know why you didn't pay? You didn't pay. You, this one, I just gave you $100,000 for it. <laughs> Hello? Number three is idea investigation. Idea what? Investigation. Many times you think some things does not exist because you are only in a local place and you have not researched it. So idea investigation is, does this thing exist anywhere? So you begin to research. You Google it. Find out, is there anywhere where this thing is done? Is there any version of this? So you investigate. Because sometimes what you think is a fresh idea is a divine download. Somebody has been doing it for 13 years. And it's you that is just getting to know about it. So, so that you not waste your time trying to go and do something that belongs to somebody else. But when you are doing that investigation, you may be able to still do the same thing in a different way. Hello? Same thing in a different way. I remember um, years ago, there's an American rapper called 50 Cent. And um, he wanted to produce a movie. And the movie... They wanted to title it, Things Fall Apart. And then one of our icons in the country, Chinua Achebe, was the author of Things Fall Apart. So they contacted um, his publicists and his management and said, look, we'd like to use the title of the book for this movie. And we see that you have copyrighted it all over the world. So you are the owner of the copyright of that Things Fall Apart. You have the trademark, you have paid, you have done it, you have tightened it down. So we want to pay you one million dollars so that you can give us. And then China Shebe said, Who are these people? They say it's one rapper, but I don't want to be associated with those kind of characters. I'm a man of integrity. I don't want my name and this book is special, you know. Proud Igbo man. He says he's not interested. So they sat down and discussed. They said, what do we do? Then the lawyer said, no problem. All he did was things fall apart. We just add all in front. All things fall apart. He doesn't have copyright for that one. So they just added all and they released the movie. All things fall apart. You don't have copyright for that. So all they needed to do was to add all. He lost one million. They still achieved their target. One million dollars. So not one million naira. <laughs> This is personal belief. That's not the topic of discussion. But what am I saying? When you are doing that investigation, it's not necessarily to discourage you, to say don't go. It's to discover if there is variance, is there a trick, is there an angle I can use to still achieve the same thing. Hello? Let me give you one more. Ideas protection. Protect the idea. Patent, tried, trademark, copyright. So let's move on. Number seven. Money hides in vision. Money hides in vision. Where there is no vision, the people perish. The word provision means pro and vision. It means to provide for vision. So if you are looking for money, create a vision. And money will flow. Because money only flows in response to vision. People don't give support to nothing. They give support to something. Hello? Now, many of you have all kinds of projects that you plan to execute this year. But now it's real about time. Many of you will have to suspend your own project now to give to Rehoboth. Why? Because it's a vision. So you provide for the vision because a vision is put before you. It's okay. Ah, we need to do this. Whole. And then you do it. But now, if we say there is no Rehoboth this year, there are people that will never say, even though you are not doing Rehoboth, I will still give. There are people that will never think that way. That you do Rehoboth, you don't do Rehoboth. Me, I'm still going to give. No. If you don't do Rehoboth, you are well. If you are married, please stand up. 
If when you got married, you had all the money you need before you go, you had all the money, remain standing. Ah. So how did you get married? Why you don't have all the money? Okay, you, you have all the money. I have, okay. <laughs> Nobody's standing. So how did you get married when you didn't have money? Singles, get ready for this revelation. The very minute you chose a date, the very minute you started telling people, we are getting married in September, what happened? Money started flowing. Hey, September, ah, okay, I'm a cake trial. Can I do cake? Hey, I will give you cake. Ah, we'll give you two crates. Hey, there is one hollow. Oh, Let me talk to my uncle. You can use the offer free. Oh. Hey, who is your tailor? Hey, okay, ah, okay, give me your account number. Because you created a vision, pro started coming, and you had provision. And you now, you are single. Ah, you don't marry. I don't have money. You will never marry. Until you understand that you don't need money to marry. You only need a vision of marriage. Hello? You only need a vision of marriage. So single people, let me help you. Because there are some, let me use a very harsh word. There are some useless married people that are destroying your life. Hello? Some of them are even in this church. Foolish people that you are listening to. Why forget it? Don't let any man make you. Forget it. You know, if he doesn't have car, don't listen to him. If he doesn't have car, don't listen to him. The stupid people telling you that. They didn't have car when they married though. Now they are married with two children and you are listening to them. They want to keep you in the market and you are growing old. You are becoming wrinkled in the market. Waiting for car and you are ending up with a scar. Hello? Hey, this brother. If you don't have a car, don't listen to him. That's why many of you are following Yahoo boys now. I hope you know Yahoo boys don't become cavalry. They're not the enter. They become pig babes. Useless in your life. Because of Canada, you know they sleep with you. You know they do abortion. Stupid girl. You date church, you know get brain. Hello? Because the serious one, he said, does he have a car? Now you are following your boy, we get a car. I see your life. When you are a fine boy, you will love Jesus. When you are a fine girl, you will love Jesus. And loving Jesus is loving what he loves and hating what he hates. Not all this immorality you are doing. Listen to me. Anybody you see today that you envy, go and check their wedding picture. You will not have wanted them. Hello, babes. Hello, babes. Babes, babes. You are looking for a correct guy. Everybody you see today that is married, if you saw my picture when I got married, go and look at Pastor Abraham. Other one, they are celebrating seven years now. See, if you see the picture, See all these people you are looking at. See all, uh, the, all the people I want to marry are already married. Shut up. Go and pick your own. All the people you should have married are married because somebody has picked them when there was no beauty in them. Go and look at wedding pictures. You see people looking like HIV patients, looking like refugees. But somebody took them. Now you, you say, I, mean, I want a ready made guy, ready made girl. And you carry ready made trouble. Are you not thinking? You're over 30. Oh. Like play, like play, you go 40. Oh. Hello? Being a man is not only about provision. Hello? Is he a man? Is he a good man? Is he kind? Is he loving? Is he hardworking? Is he focused? Is he caring? Money cannot buy all those things, oh. So if you now say all you want is money, then you will not have a man that has money, he's not kind, he's not caring, he's not considerate, he's not godly. He will now give you, put you in a duplex, buy a car for you and be cheating on you. I'm beating you. And then he will buy you the makeup you used to cover it and the eyeglasses you used to fake cover your face. I don't know why I'm going into this one, this one. Is. 
Because I don't know why you people are not married. I don't understand. All you need is just one room. One room. One room. That's all you need. A roof. One room. Hey, you must have two bedrooms. Where? Your papa get two bedrooms. Two bedrooms as how. Even in the demo, two bedrooms is one million. Per annum. And the guy is earning 70k, you are earning 35. And you want two bedrooms. I don't understand, you know, you know, for me, you don't have to agree with me. I tell you, it's not, don't agree. I just, I don't understand. Your father and mother combine. Leave the room and parlor with six of you. And your father is 17 now, your mother is 65. They still have never had a car all their life. Yet you now want to meet a man to come and do for you what your parents combined couldn't do for you. Why are you putting unnecessary pressure on people? You went to school. The guy went to school. You graduated seven years ago. He graduated seven years ago. You are meeting the guy seven years later. You want him to have a car. You unko. You get car. What have you been doing with your own salary for seven years? You are just going to grow old and wretched. And when the guy now blow, he go marry small girl. You know, go, who go, who go get money? Go carry you. you go kukuma go for the younger version. And then you will now be angry and bitter and be wishing that their marriage will fail. It will not fail. <laughs> Hello. I've done some interviews recently. They will begin to drop. I don't know. I think one has dropped. They will start dropping. But so that when you like, I tell you something, I don't go talk. So that you go. Yeah. <laughs> Why is it okay for a man to pick up a woman? Wretched, nothing, no good. So you pick up the woman, you pay her school fee, polish her, take care of her, take care of the family, and that's okay. But a woman cannot pick up a man, help the man. No. You are good. God has blessed you. Why can't you, you love the guy, the guy is a good guy. Why can't you gather money and support the guy's vision. Say, guy, it's between two of us. I love you. I just want to take a risk on you because I believe God, you are a good man. This 10 million. Start that business. Nobody needs to know. Many of you that think your father was a rich man, it was your mother sponsoring the family. But you did not know because your mother will give him the money in the room. He will come out to the parlor and share to you. Whereas the mother will keep quiet, honoring the man and not dismasculating and emasculating the man. But you, you go one proof saying that you pray. I don't know why I'm going this way. We are finished everybody, but. Listen to me. There are men that have labored over the women. The women still mess them up. But men have not stopped laboring over women. So the fact that you have a friend, an auntie, an uncle, or you watch a movie where a woman helped a man and the man betrayed her does not mean your own man will betray you. Stop projecting your fears and your insecurity on good people. And then men. Lazy man. Jobless man. Bearded gang. All you know is how to go to saloon and groom yourself. All you know is how to go to gym and how to see spark, you know how to see figure. You are so proud and arrogant. Say you are an entrepreneur, sharing complimentary card. Instead of you to humble yourself and go and get a job of 70k and start from somewhere. You say, babe, I've got plans. I've got plans. I've got plans. Then you want the woman to carry her hard-earned money to come and help you. Well, even you, you can't help yourself. Because some men are so useless. When they see a strong woman, they will now relax. My wife is very hardworking. My baby is very industrious. They will now begin to hail you to kill you. Now we have said they should come to you, whether you have car or not, but are you kind? Are you caring? You know, get car. You know, get the charge car to say, bless you, babe. Just checking on you. Hello? You don't even have kind words. Oh, no, oh, to Niwa. You don't have kind words in your mouth. Hello? You don't have money. Yes, you still want to be pressing her breast. You want to defile her. How can
can I come to you as a beautiful woman? Find your way, love Jesus. You now want to pollute me. You don't have money. I'm still trying to share sacrifice for you. Now you want to defy me again. You are not even holy. I can't even trust you. So this thing is not where there is both men and women that have problem. Because we have some stupid boys in church and I was wrong with you. You are still staying with your mother. Shame not they catch you. Hello? If it's one room, you are in. Let her meet you in the one room. When she enters the one room, everything is in order. Bed is in one side. Your shelf is there. We see the books. Your table is there. You see everything is in order. It's okay. If this guy can manage one room like this. Because many of you think that the women are looking for money. They are looking for maturity. They are looking for kindness. They are looking for morality. They are looking for order. It's not money they are looking for. They will enter that one room with you when you are normal. But you have already concluded hey, they don't want one room. Who told you? Have you tried it? At least try it that they say they don't want. Then you will now bring their case to me. I will help you deal with them. We will bring them to the altar. They will answer. Money eyes in what? I don't know how we reach here. You as if everybody is still in my body. <laughs> Number eight. Money hides in work. Money hides where? Money hides where? Money hides where? I did not say money hides in a job. I said money hides in work. Not job. Many of you have a job but you don't have work. You say, I'm looking for a job. Stop looking for a job. There is work everywhere. Stop looking for a job. Your job is what you do to earn a living. But your work is what you are created to do. Fishes don't struggle to swim. Birds don't struggle to fly. Why? That's what they are created to do. When you find your work, you find your wealth. When you find your work, you find your wealth. You see, a lot of people, they have good jobs. But they are not happy because that's not their work. So they are sad on Monday and glad on Friday, even though they are earning well. Because that is a job, but their work is calling them. And they are feeling unfulfilled because they know they are not at the center of their destiny. Money hides where? In work. There are no many our jobs, only many are mine. There are no many our work, only many are mine. Because the same people that will not drive taxi in Nigeria will go and drive taxi abroad. Hello? They will not clean dead body in Nigeria, they will clean dead body abroad. We just wrapped up our annual Billionaires Conclave Summit. And while we're having lunch in one of the tables, Someone received a call, so they were discussing, okay, uh, why are you complaining? But you know now. So when I say, I was, I say, I wish you check care. I'm like, ah, okay. That's what many of them are doing. So the lady beside me said, ah, but what is wrong with care? Is it not nursing? I said, no, there is a difference between care worker and nursing. He said, ah, I thought it's, I said, it's not the same. All the people say they are doing care, care, care. Care is someone that cares for somebody that cannot care for themselves. So invalid, physically challenged, disabled people, old people, you bath them, you poop, they poop, you clean their bum bum, you change their diaper, you feed them, you clean the spittle for them. That's, that's care work, you are a caregiver to give care. See, that's what they say. See, that's what my sister says. I thought, I thought it's not. I say, so she not seen me. Does he have certificate? Why is he saying, what are you? It's from care. But well, if they tell you to come and care for somebody here now, you won't care. Even your own mother. You will abandon your mother. The Bible says that will not work. He didn't say that does not have a job. He that will not work. He uses the word work. Read your Bible very well. You won't see job come out of covenant. The Bible says work while it is day. For the night come when no man can walk. My father walketh, itato, and I walk. Does God have a job? He's working. 
is fulfilling its purpose. So once you understand this difference, it will help you. The reason why many of you are not fulfilled is because you are just pursuing money, pursuing job. Find your work and wealth will flow. Because your career is what you are paid for, but your calling is what you are made for. So once you discover what you are made for, just stay there. During um, uh, Ali Moshe Arise 2.0, we had the uh, is it Neji or Naji or what, that woman that dances? She was here. But if you hear her story, two months before she blew, two months before she blew, a very respected person called her. He said, are you not ashamed? You are not a child. All this dancing, dancing. You are just wasting away your life. Just be dancing like a mad woman. Just be the two months before that. Hello? And why they were insulting her, if she has accepted the insult, you will hear them now. She has, you don't take, don't take, nobody comes from nowhere. Hello? There are people that have been there. They don't come from nowhere. But guess what? As she was being insulted, God was saying, don't worry, my daughter. Soon or very soon. That is why a woman can lose her mother, leave the dead mother at home, and come and minister. Because she has contacted the realm that is beyond. Hello? Natale Basi was the one that God used to bring her out. Before Natale Basi was used of God to bring her out, someone had told Natale, there's one woman I want to introduce to you. Because when it's not time, any kind of move you make with it. So they actually may say, ah, this is the woman, oh, what's the name? But did it click? Then when they insulted that two months later, that Tanya was in the play, just scrolling, listening to that, ah, felt the anointing, I started crying, who is this woman? I said, mercy, please, anybody that knows this woman, let me look for her. Then the person said, ah, which woman? Is it not the woman I introduced to you two years ago? It's the same one. It's the same person. Say, yeah, yeah, now is the time. And boom, everywhere now. It's everywhere. Find your work and stay there. Don't give up. The darker the day, the closer the uh, the darker the night, the closer the day. Don't give up at the edge of your miracle. Many of you have been laboring, no result. Nobody knows you. Nobody is paying you. Stay there as long as it is your work. One day. Weeping may endure for a night. Because of the wrong concept and wrong understanding of work, a lot of people are in all kinds of issues.